What are you doing? I am making a strawberry cake. Where's Lucas and what's he doing? He's in the living room. He's watching a TV show. I see. What's he doing later? He's going to see a movie. He's going to the movie theater in Clark Street, I think. He's going to see the new Spider Man movie that came out last week. Who's he going with? Ah,、uh, well, he's going with a girl. But he doesn't want to say who the girl is. It's probably the girl he told us about last week. You know, the girl he met at the college party last Saturday. Oh, yeah, I remember. Anyway, he wants to take the car. I suppose that's okay. He can park it in the parking lot at the movie theater. I think he's excited about the evening. He's even wearing a clean shirt. Really? It means that's an important occasion for him. Hi, may I sit here? Yes, sure. My name's Mason. I'm Laura. Nice to meet you. You went to Professor Robinson's mathematics lecture yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, but I didn't understand very much. Neither did I. But don't worry about it. It's only the first one. Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway,、uh, how's your first week going? Oh, it's just been crazy. I haven't stopped since I got here. No, me neither. And it's a huge campus. I keep getting lost. Yes, so do I. Yesterday I was walking around for ages looking for the bookstore. Did you find it? Yes, eventually, but it took me about half an hour. Well, at least you found it in the end. Maybe you should get a map. I did have a map. I just couldn't work out where I was to start with. So, what are you studying? I'm doing a degree in natural sciences. What about you? Physics. You can do absolutely anything with a physics degree. There are physicists who work in finance, research, and engineering, to name a few. What's more, some even use physics to make music and become musicians. Exactly. Anyway, do you live here on campus? Yes, I do. It seemed the cheapest option, and I don't want to borrow too much money. No, neither do I. I've already taken out a student loan, and I've spent quite a bit of it already. Yeah, I know what you mean. Right. I must hurry up and finish my meal. I have a lecture at two. So do I. The food is so delicious here. Excuse me, I'm sorry to trouble you, but could you tell me how I can get to the train station? Yes, no problem. It's that way. Keep walking straight ahead. Then, after you pass the library, you have to turn left. Then, take your first right, and it's across from the bus station. You cannot miss it. Thank you so much. I've only been in town a few days, so I really don't know my way around yet. Oh, I know that feeling. My husband and I moved here a year ago, and I still don't know how to find certain places. Houston is so big. So, just to double check, I keep walking straight ahead till I pass the library, then I have to turn left and take the first right. Then it's across the bus station. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Well, thanks for helping me. I must go and catch my train. Hopefully, I haven't missed it. Okay, bye. Are you from around here? 
No, I'm from Mexico. Oh, really? Were you born in Mexico? No, I wasn't born there actually. I'm originally from Spain. That's interesting. So, when did you move to Mexico? I moved to Mexico when I was seven years old. My parents immigrated there. Did you grow up in Mexico? Yes, I grew up in Mexico. Where did you live? We lived in Guadalajara. It's a beautiful city in western Mexico. Did you go to school in Guadalajara? Yes. And when did you come to the United States? I came here five months ago. I'm Juan Martinez. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Olivia Carter. And what do you do now? I'm a computer technician. I see. So you're an immigrant to the United States. Yes, that's right. What are some of the difficulties of being an immigrant in the U.S.? I guess one of the biggest difficulties is that I don't have any relatives here. I mean, I have a lot of friends, but that's not the same thing. In Mexico, on holidays or the weekend, we visit relatives. It isn't the same here. And what do you miss the most from home? I miss my parents, friends, festivals, and the best food in the world. Do you have any siblings, Mary? No, I don't. I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. What about you, Leo? I come from a big family. I have two brothers and one sister. Wow. Do you get along with them? Yes. They are my best friends, and I'd be completely lost in life without them. No one makes me laugh out loud the way they do, and we all have similar interests. So there's always someone up for a run, hike, coffee, or cake. That's nice. So, do you like being an only child? Of course. I get all my parents' attention. Yeah, I share my parents' attention with three other people. But sometimes I want a brother or a sister. Do you ever feel lonely? Sure, but it's okay. I have lots of friends. What does your father do, Mary? He is a baker. He runs his own bakery. Really? Do you know the Sweet Spot Bakery? It's my father's. Yeah, it's located downtown, next to the bookstore. Yes. I've been there to buy a cake. I didn't know it's your father's bakery. Anyway, I'm going there a little later. Would you like to join me? I'll treat you to cakes. I'd love to. Thanks. What about your mother? What does she do? She is a florist. You know, she loves flowers very much. That's cool. I like flowers too. Does she have a flower shop? Yes. The shop was opened three years ago. Where is it located? It's located in Marvel Street, between the grocery store and the souvenir shop, opposite the park. Good location. Does your mother arrange flowers too? Of course. She's very good at arranging flowers for any occasion, such as birthdays, weddings, and funerals. What time does the shop open? Does it open every day? Yes, it opens every day, from Monday to Friday between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. On Saturday and Sunday, it opens between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm going to Los Angeles next month. Have you been there? No, I haven't. I don't like big cities. Really? I do. I think they're really exciting. 
New York is great. And Houston and Chicago are too. I've been to all of them. I really like traveling and discovering new places. So do I. But I don't like noise and crowds, and neither does my husband. We prefer to go to quieter places. We like to relax on vacation. Me too. But I find the big cities very relaxing. For example, they all have really nice parks. That's true. Anyway, I don't have much money to spend on vacations. Neither do I. I always stay in cheap hotels, and I don't go to expensive restaurants. But it's hard to find those places, isn't it? No, it's the countryside for us. I like going for walks, and so does my husband. My husband does too. We do lots of walking in the cities we visit. Well, I can't wait for my next vacation. I can't either. I'm really looking forward to it. Who is that? She looks so beautiful in that elegant red dress. Do you mean the actress with the long brown hair? No, the one with the very dark hair. It's almost black. Oh, the one with the curly hair. No, no. I mean the one wearing the ponytail. It looks really good on her. Oh, yeah. I can see her now. It suits her indeed. Oh, look, that's Jennifer Lawrence. She doesn't look so good with her hair in that style. What do you call that? You mean a bun? Yeah, I'm not sure I like it. She's got really nice blonde hair. She should wear it down. Anyway, she's very pretty. I think this hairstyle looks great on her oval shaped face. Look, that's Kristen Kruk. I saw that actress in a movie recently. Is she American? No, she's Canadian. But her mother is Chinese, and her father is Dutch. I love her smile. She looks so pretty. Yeah, and she has a really cute hairstyle. I like her bangs. Yeah, she looks really cute in bangs. That actress with the long brown hair has a great smile, too. Do you mean the one with the long, straight hair? No, no, it's not really straight, but it's not curly either. Oh, her? Yeah, she has beautiful eyes. Are they blue or green? I can't tell. Anyway, what's her name? She's in a lot of movies. Yeah, and she travels all around the world. She's always helping people. But I don't know her name. She's a famous Spanish actress. But she plays roles in both English and Spanish. She looks beautiful with her long brown hair. Yeah, it's almost light brown. I like it that way. Sometimes it's darker than that. Yeah, and I like her dress. You know, very simple. She looks good in light pink. So, George, what do you do when you get home in the evening? Like, do you have special routines? Well, I pretty much do the same thing every night. So, what's the first thing you do when you get home? I always open the windows as soon as I enter the house. I really like fresh air, so I open them even when it's cold outside. And then I take everything out of my pockets, like my change and my keys and my wallet. And I put it all on the nightstand next to my bed. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, so you don't lose anything. I have to do that before I change my clothes. If I don't, my wallet ends up in the laundry. Right, not a good idea. So, yeah. And then I change my clothes. I like to put on something comfortable, like jogger pants or shorts, and a t-shirt or a tank top. You know, get out of my work clothes. And let's see. 
Usually I get on my exercise bike and ride for half an hour or so. I always feel good after I exercise a bit. Good for you. I don't exercise enough. Then after exercising, I watch a little TV and I relax for about two hours. What about dinner? Do you cook every night? Well, I try to cook something healthy. You know, a lot of people just throw something into the microwave. But I always cook some meat and vegetables and make a fresh salad. That's good. Yeah. Oh, but first, I usually have to do the dishes, like before I cook. So yeah, I do the dishes and clean the kitchen. I'm always so tired after dinner, so I always leave the dishes in the sink. And I don't have time to do them in the morning. I have to be at work by 8. Right. So what do you do after dinner? Well, I usually sit down and read something, just to relax for a bit. So, what time do you go to bed? Around 10.30. I fall asleep right away and don't wake up until 6 in the morning. So that's pretty much it. The same old thing every evening. I don't really go out on weeknights. I work so hard during the week, so I only have fun on the weekends. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.